Hello, good morning and welcome. Today, my discussion topics is characterization of nanocellulose from sugarcane bagasi. This is the FTIR peak of cellulose. Uh, we see the peak in the around 1300 per cm in 2900 per cm. Similarly, in the range of 500 to 700 we are seeing the peaks. Similarly, in the nanocellulose of the maximum all similar peaks. This is the nanocellulose extracted, extracted from cellulose, ball mill, ball milling, Sulfuric acid. There are four different kinds of FTIR peaks of the cellulose. So the peaks in the range of thousand for thirty four range. 1034 days is due to CO stitching in plain aromatic or aromatic CS deformation, vibration of cellulose lignin in the range of. Thousand thirty four per cm. In other peaks, we see in the similar area, thousand fifty one per cm due to CO anti symmetric stretching vibration of glycosidic ring vibration in cellulose and aromatic CS plane deformation of. Lignin. To be landed Persian uh, due to OS deformation of cellulose, OS deformation in the area to be landed. And similarly, in the region to be 140. Aryl CO out of flame, stitching vibration of lignin to be landed 40. Similarly, 1320 per cm CH2 wagging frequency of cellulose. CH2 wagging frequency of cellulose. 1320. 1365 per cm CS bending polysaccharide aromatic CO vibration and aliphatic CS stretching mode of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. 1450 per cm. CS asymmetric deformation and in the region 1600, 1600 C110 stretching vibration 
and sixteen hundred thirty four calcium due to absorbed water sixteen hundred thirty four. Sixteen hundred thirty four, seventeen hundred twenty eight per cm, seventeen hundred twenty eight per cm. CO stressing vibration of carboxylic group of lignin and amicellulose, seventeen hundred twenty eight. Seventeen hundred twenty-eight. In in case of nanocellulose, seventeen hundred twenty-eight per cm do not so peak due to amicellulose and lignin is removed. Twenty nine hundred per cm. The CS stressing vibration, CS stressing vibration, thirty three hundred forty per cm. Waves stressing vibration of the waves group in this area. This is the explanation of the FTIR spectra. This spectra is the XRD spectra. The sample indicates the diffracted peaks at two theta around. Uh, sixteen point five degree, twenty eight point five, and thirty four point five, corresponding to the one one zero two zero zero and zero zero four lattice planes, which are representing the typical structure of cellulose. This table indicates the crystallinity index and crystal size. See, extracted cellulose have crystallinity seventy one point two percentage, crystal size three point seven four nanometer. Similarly, preferred cellulose ball milling, ball milling twenty percent, as to so forth. And ball milling forty percent as to so forth after different crystallinity index and crystal size. The extracted cellulose have seventy one point two percent is crystallinity, but in case of ball milling seventy eight point seven and. Twenty percent as to so four seventy one point one and forty percent as to so four eighty six point one. In case of crystal size, the extracted cellulose three point seven four nanometer and ball milling two point four seven. Ball milling twenty percent sulfuric acid two point four seven. Forty percent sulfuric acid, three point two seven nanometer. UV spectrometer analysis shows the absorbance spectra of cellulose measured at one ninety to seven hundred nanometer. Uh, in case of Nanocellulose, the intensity absorbance of all sample cellulose 
एवरेज सैंपल ऑब्जर्विंग इंटेंसिटी टू हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर टू सी दिस इज द योबे स्पेक्ट स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ नैनोसेल्यूस my reference chance for watching